Younger generations are most familiar with 73-year-old Randy Newman as the singing voice behind the theme songs of most of the Pixar films, including Toy Story and Monsters, Inc. But since the 60s, he's also been singing about things like racism and dirty politicians. There isn't a lot of political pop music these days, but now Randy's back after a nine-year hiatus with a new album that takes on everything from Vladimir Putin to police brutality. There's a jungle out there. There's all the confusion everywhere. I was really excited to hear that Randy Newman was here because I love him. He's got a wisdom for sure. A little dark. If you paid attention, you'd be worried too. I'm kind of in love with Randy Newman, and so I teach some of his songs in my classes. I teach Sail Away to talk about uh, the transatlantic slave trade, and then I teach political science to talk about American politics. Europe's too old. Africa's far too hot. Canada's too cold. And South America's stole our name. Let's drop the big one. There'll be no one left to blame us. You've written so many things that take on these really serious subjects, yeah. and and they do bounce along. They've got these really happy tunes. Down here we're too ignorant to realize that the law to set the nigger free. Yes, he's free to be put in a cage in the hall of New York City, gathering them up from miles around. Rednecks bounces along, and it's enormously significant point it's trying to make. If you think that the North is morally superior to the South, the Southern guy is saying, you're wrong. That's it, that's all it was. So are you still performing Rednecks? No. Why are you so hesitant about it? Because of the word. It, it, it's, it's, it's awful. There is an entire generation for whom you are the Toy Story guy. Does that's that weird right. you out at all? It's odd, because the nature of what I usually write is so far from those Disney songs. It's a song about one of the most powerful people, new song, in this country. Putin putting his pants on, one leg at a time. Why did you decide to write a song about Putin? Because I was interested in the aspect of his personality that led him to have all those pictures with his shirt off. He's the, the richest man in the world. He's the most powerful man in the world. He wants to be, you know, Tom Cruise. And when he take his shirt off, he drive the ladies crazy. When he take his shirt off, make me want to be a lady. So this is, this is sort of the obvious one. You've got a song about Putin. Yeah. Where's the Trump song? I wrote a Trump song a year and a half ago, but it was so vulgar that I, I didn't choose to do it. Can, can you play it? it. Uh, no, I can't anymore. I can prove it too. There is no. I can't oh no, you it. just played it. This whole interview was designed to trick me into singing this stupid Trump dick song. There, is, there is subtlety in a lot of the songs that you do. Yeah. So why write a song like that? It's not a subtle subject. You know, he's not. That's what, one of the main things that, uh, that, I, that I can't forget is that there are a lot of nice people who voted for this guy. There aren't 40 million assholes in this country. Not that many. There are that many racists, however. So can you be a nice person and be a racist? Maybe not. You got a friend in me. Yeah, you got a friend. 